The start of Passover in Jakarta was a low-key private affair in this Muslim-majority nation that officially recognizes six religions, but not Judaism. There's thought to be less than 200 practicing Jews in the country. Elishiva Wiryat Madia established a center here to promote understanding of Judaism, and she says the problem starts with limited interaction between Muslims and Jews. When they say, I hate Jews, I hate Israel, you can't really you can't really judge them because they don't actually have met any Jews at all. Many of Indonesia, the vast majority, have not. The country's last synagogue was sealed off by Islamic hardliners a few years ago. But this was the first time in Jakarta Muslim clerics broke Jewish bread with Jews in a Passover ceremony. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Antony Blinken was there. Men and women of different faiths gathered to celebrate an ancient Jewish tradition here in a Muslim-majority country is a very powerful thing. Passover commemorates the flight of the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. In Indonesia, where anti-Semitism is high, many Jews hide their religious identity by practicing their faith underground or claiming they're Christian in their passports. We want to be equal. This is our identity. We need to have a faith because this is the basic human right in our right to connect with God. Their community is small, but they're hoping events like this will give their faith greater voice in this, the biggest Muslim nation in the world.